what we're working on right now <clears throat> in Hilo, like kind of the next big release that's going to come out in the next uh, month or two. We're calling our Holonic architecture. Um, and it's, it's basically uh, redesigning the architecture of how groups are connected to each other and in relationship with each other. Um, and so right now in Hilo, you can have networks of <clears throat> communities is what they're called, like a, a group. And so that enables kind of a <clears throat> nesting of one, you know, one layer of nesting. So you could create teams within a company or just whatever subgroups exist at one layer deep. Um, and so what we're uh, about to launch is infinite nesting of groups and the ability for groups to be inside of multiple other groups. Um, so it becomes a, a much more um, powerful and complex network sort of graph of related groups. Um, and, and so Hilo is very group centric still, as, as I said, and um, you know, we think there's gonna be a lot of power in enabling, you know, so, you know, basically the question we're asking is how do groups actually collaborate in the real world? Um, especially as we try and move towards this more decentralized power with ways of, of working together. And so then how could the so can software map to this real world structure of collaboration and actually both make it visible and enable and support the type of decentralized um, collaboration that you know, so many of us are trying to do and want to do and are, and are doing, but don't really have the right software for it. Um, so we're about to release that, which is, is really exciting. Um, I will say that the first, the version we're going to release enabling kind of infinite nesting and you know, multiple parents is only the next step. And there's a step after that, which is kind of enabling peer to peer um, relationships, which is you know, not like a sort of parent child. Um, we saw it starting with parent child as more useful in the short term, um, but then ultimately, you know, relationships can exist in all different forms. And so how, then we, you know, there's sort of a next layer of, of really how do we uh, make clear what the relationship actually means. Um, like when two groups are in relationship, like maybe money is flowing from one group to the other. Maybe people are, you know, embedded from one group in another group. And so actually trying to understand what different types of relationships there are. <laughs> <laughs>